I'm Sir Tap Tap. It's October 23rd, and as you can see from the map here, it's gonna get pretty spooky. So, it's time for Abyssrium's Halloween event once again. And um, they kind of did a mix of what I thought they would do and what other people thought I would they would do. So, the Abyssrium, the new Halloween event has 17 new fish, including five hidden fish. Um, and it also has the old fish, but the old fish you have to fuse. So the old fish end up being very expensive. Um, to unlock the old fish, basically you just need two of whatever fish makes them, just like any other fusion fish. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only requirement for any of them, just get two of them. Some people think it takes three or five, but I, that, I can't confirm because I already have the fish. If you already have the fish, they'll all automatically be in your list to, to fuse. But, um... Anyway, let's start at the top of our fish list and go down the uh, things. Uh, just a quick little note here. I do have a Patreon fan funding campaign where you can support me and my guides and stuff. Uh, even just supporting a buck helps. It's uh, just patreon.com slash sirtaptap. Uh, or you can go to sirtaptap.com slash patron to get there. It, um, it really does help a lot. And if we reach the 200 goal, I can reduce ads yet again on my site. Uh, the... Uh, Graciousness of patrons. Hello, Parker. Please do not lick my microphone. Do not lick... I, I'm sorry if that sounded weird. Parker just licked the microphone for reasons I cannot fathom. You are a very strange boy. Um, but yeah, that, that really helps out a lot, and I did get to uh, reduce ads on my site because of that. So uh, hopefully at, at some point we can remove all of them. Anyway, so fish list. So first we've got the mummy clownfish. That's just our basic cheapo fish. Um, you're gonna need five of those for a different fish later down down the line Plus they're one of the good fish to make a bunch of to meet requirements. There's a plain old ghost fish. Parker Would you please not put your tail in my face? Um, devil box fish is our first hidden fish once again We need to watch the commercials for uh, event candies here 15 times um, If you mess with your clock, you can get this a little bit faster. You can Move your clock 30 minutes forward so you can watch 15 ads in less than... It takes seven and a half hours plus uh, to uh, do it normally. So I went ahead and cheated just so I could get this video out quick. Um, oh, and before I continue, no, don't, do not panic if you don't have the update yet. They do slow rollouts. There's nothing you can do to make sure that you get it. There's nothing you're doing wrong. You just gotta wait. I, it sucks, I know. Complain on their Facebook. Uh, let them know that it sucks, but I can't help you. That's it's just the way they do it. It uh, doesn't matter if you're on iOS or Android either. It's just how they do things. Um, yeah, I always get 500 of that question. Um, and please watch to the end of the video before asking questions, because people always ask things that are in the video. Um, anyway, back to the fish list. Bat butterfly, that's just a normal one. You just need three mummy clownfish. Um, Parker, you're gonna knock my monitor on the floor. Um, vampire football fish. Own three ghost fish, that's another basic one. Um, mummy my my is a very confusing one. So, you need exactly five mummy clownfish. Look at this wonderful English sentence here, by the way. Real human English. Only released five mummy clownfish and lasted 30 minutes. What that means is the app has to stay open for 30 minutes. Don't close the app, don't do other things. Uh, well, I don't know if doing other things matters, but if the app closes, like if the app, you know, does the startup screen when you open it, that means it's reset, as far as I can tell. But yeah, you gotta have exactly five mummy clownfish. Not more, not less, exactly five, and wait 30 minutes, it's weird. Um, ghost seahorse, just wait 30, or get 30 event fish. Witch Blobfish, own five of that vampire football fish. They've got a Tim Burton-esque vibe. Oh, oh and I'll, let me let me show you the... Even more Tim Burton-esque is the blatantly stolen... Um, excuse me, the original... Excuse me! Are, are you Parker Whales? Is that what you are? There we go. The uh, Nightmare Before Christmas uh, thing there. Um, original, original hill. Do not steal. Um... But yeah, they're going a bit more cartoony this year's uh, Halloween fish. There's also the ghost jellyfish. Um, for this one, you need to buy the ghost house costume and share three photos of anything. It doesn't have to be anything particular. Just wear that costume. Uh, the death squid is a, is a cute one. Um, 30 event fish. 
Five ghost seahorse of the spiderweb nautilus, nothing too fancy. The cemetery turtle is an interesting one. So you have to take pictures of Kim's tombstones. And a lot of people misinterpret that and think they need to go into the Facebook menu and go to Kim's thing. Uh, no, 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 they're in your tank. So first things first, what you wanna do is buy all three of the, get the costume, the die, and the theme for the Halloween thing. They're just 2,000 candies total. Um, you only technically need the die for this one. You need the costume for another one. You don't technically need the theme, but get the theme. It's cheap. It's neat. It's only limited, available for limited time. Just get the damn thing. Um, but yeah, you need the Halloween castle to see the tombstones. Um, I don't... Excuse you, dolphin. So the first tombstone is right here behind the Coralite. Um, and yeah, it's Kim's tombstone. Would you please sit down? Parker is making this, uh, like, multi-talented act that requires four hands to operate. Um, so you want to take a picture of that one, and then um, so this is the awkward part. I need to zoom out on my phone, or on my computer. This is called Nox App Player. Oh, god damn it. Um, Parker, would you please stop bashing your face directly into my hand? Uh, he will not. Yeah, he, he won't. Um, get your tail! Would you please... Everything in life is more difficult when you have a cat. It's it's great. It's filthy casual mode if you don't own a cat. Um, where is that stupid tombstone? Oh, there it is. Okay. So after you get this one, um, you kind of want to do these in order because it's kind of hard to find them without each other to orient. So then you want to click. It's right here by the um, the uh, the shipwreck, which you get with the remains of a Nautilus. It'll still be here if you don't have remains of the Nautilus, but that's an easy way to find it. So you want to take a picture of that one. And then, this one's over in the nothingness. You can just barely see it. In fact, I, I do not see... Oh, there it is, there it is. It's kind of in these rocks right near where the moon sprite is. <laughs> Parker is very lovey-dovey today. So you just want to take that third picture. And then there you go. You don't have to go into Kim's tank. Again, it's, it's in your tank. Um... And then Halloween Dolphin, 40 Event Fish. The ones I'm skipping over are just the Fusion Fish, so you just, just own two of the fish above them and they'll unlock, so nothing fancy about those. Um, Vampire Ray on five Death Squid. Um, for the Ghost Sunfish, you need to click the candy from the Ghost Jellyfish 500 times, um, which sounds like a lot, but that's the best way to get candies anyway, so I'll go over that at the end of the video. Coffin Shark has just owned 60 event fish, there's always one like that. Then there's a Halloween Whale, which again, there's always one like this. You just own all of the Halloween event fish, not include Bone Whale, because English, extremely good. Um, the, the, the weird thing is that this includes none. You don't have to own any of the 2016 uh, fish to get the Halloween Whale, but they only mention the Bone Whale. It's like, that. that's such a nonsensical description that it... Even the bad translation doesn't explain that. Because there's like 10 other fish that it doesn't include, but they only say the bone whale. It's like, what? Like, because none of these other ones are... <sighs> also, don't fuse the fish until you get the coffin shark, because that will reduce your event fish count when you fuse them. Um, so yeah. Yeah, overall, I think it's a really good event. I, uh, I think that it, it is more expensive. The total cost is 80,000 candies. Um, just 20... Just... 20,000 more than the last event, but last event I think struck a perfect medium where it took a lot to unlock everything But once you did unlock everything the most expensive fish were just 6,000 so you could get plenty of extras if you wanted um, But with this one the most expensive fish is 16 or 15,000 which is Yeah, so that that kind of sucks um, but Yeah, for the fusion fish they're just regular fusion fish. They don't give you any vitality bonus but if you want the 2016 um, Halloween fish, some of which are really cool. I really like the skeletal ones. Um, but yeah, you, you need to own two of their base fish, like the Halloween dolphin in this case, and just just buy two of everything and they should all unlock. Um, it's not it's not too complicated as far as I can tell. Um, there's nothing. There's no marlins in this. I should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. Uh, nothing is too un. Nothing is too crazy. Um, it's a pretty standard event in in a good way. Um, 
it is more expensive than, than average, and I do hope the next one they bring it down. They seem to be bumping up and down to see their, to find their happy medium where they get the most money. Oh right, would you would you please sit down? Um, there's also the paid fish. So as always, the paid fish is not necessary for absolutely anything. But there's the Halloween cat package. I figured, I, I figured they would have a cat, but I mean. Also, they just reused the dog's animations. It's kind of obvious. It's, it's not really how cats swim. Like, calm down. Um, it looks kind of silly, honestly, but hey, it's a cat, I guess. But wh why not a black cat? It's Halloween, you know? Give the black cats some representation here. People are afraid of them. It's stupid. Parker's an orange cat. I would have preferred an orange cat, too. But hey, it kind of looks like... Um, it looks like the icon has cheeseburger cat. It's a Russian blue, I guess. I like the dead fish scuba tank though. That's that's a cute touch. The fall event package is still here, but it will not like give you bonuses in this. Um, oh yeah, here's the corgi. Like you can tell, they, they just took the animations exactly from his tiny little legs and his stupid little smile. Um, yeah, you, you don't feel like you need to get this. The double the candies is not really significant. Um, so, right, let me, burr, seriously, get down. Um, so, because everybody's gonna ask, how do you have so much candy? I have, I have videos, I have many videos <laughs> explaining that. But, just to show you, you wanna maximize how you get your candies, what you do, store all your fish, and you want to take out a bunch of jellyfish. And in this case, you specifically wanna wait until you get the ghost jellyfish, because this will also help you get the ghost sunfish. Um, you take out your jellyfish, and the reason you want that is because the jellyfish kind of group in one area, and it's easier to tap for their, their vitality. Um, next, what you want to do, if you haven't used it yet, you want to use your steady photographer bonus to, um, to get double vitality. The spirit of life thing, it doubles the candy drops too. Then you also want to use Song of the Moon, because Song of the Moon also multiplies it. So... I would be getting 25 if I had Song of the Moon active. I don't want to watch an ad right now. but So I'd be getting 25 per click instead of 1 per click. And if I had um, Spirit of Life and Song of the Moon, I'd be getting 50 per click. That's based on your Song of the Moon level, but uh, even just the 5 multiplier at the very first level is extremely significant. So like, it's practically not even worth tapping unless you have Song of the Moon up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You just want to mash clicks in this, and if you've got an auto-tapper, like um, Nox app player has, that's what this is, a Nox app player. Just search for tap tap Nox app player and I explain all of it. You can do something like this. Just grab all that and just automate that manual labor. So yeah, that is the Halloween event. It's really cool. Um, I must say there's there's a couple things I'm disappointed in. Uh, oh wait, one more one more thing. So there's this bug where sometimes the event thing shows up blank and people are like, oh no, it took all my candy. No, 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 no. Candy is never taken. So if you took part in the fall event, all of the candy that you had left over will carry over to this. At the end of this event, all of the stuff will carry over to the next event. It's been like that for the last like six events for every single event. It's The candy is always safe. Um, the thing is, the game is really spotty internet connection troubles sometimes. I think it's because they're having server issues, maybe. But sometimes the event thing is just blank. Um, closing the game and opening it back up again usually fixes that. Don't panic. It's happening to lots of people. It's it's not your fault. You didn't break it. The event's not over. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and to preempt another question, we don't know when it'll end. They never tell us until it's like two weeks before. Um, they're almost always just about a full month, so expect it to end around November 23rd. Um, but yeah. So, my complaints about this event, for one thing, we can't get the old event thing. Um, and the, the old Halloween stuff is not in here, so that's kind of a shame. The old Halloween things were a little bit tame compared to the modern ones, which I think may be why you can't buy them. But it would still be nice to have them. But yeah, there's there's currently still no way to get those. Um, another complaint is just that this this fish list is really messy. They should have put all the fusion fish down at the bottom. They kind of put them under the fish that they you fuse with, which makes sense, but is also kind of messy. I kind of liked having the fusion fish all at the bottom. Um, 
And my other complaint is just the cost, the raw cost of everything. Like, if you want to make bone whales, like, you gotta make... Bone whales cost 50 sea urchins, which, that's a two-hour timer, so that's... That's 10 hours worth of waiting, um, assuming you're there every two hours. Plus all of this other crap. Plus a Halloween whale, which is 15,000. So... Yeah, I'm glad I bought 10 in the first event. These cost 2,000 in the first event, by the way. And I thought that was fairly expensive when I first played, but I, I know my secrets now, so it's not too bad. But yeah, that is hopefully everything that you could possibly need to know about the Halloween event, and maybe even a little bit more. Um, but once again, there's a slow rollout. Don't panic if you don't have it. You just, you just gotta wait. I would say panic if you don't have it by Sunday. Otherwise, just expect it to be a slow rollout and it's dumb and let them know on Facebook. When when stuff is stupid in the game, you gotta tell them on their Facebook. Facebook.com slash Abyss Saga. Parker, don't, not the mic, please. Please, not the keyboard either. Would you just sit? What is your deal? He knows I'm paying attention to the mic and not him. Um, oh, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, just, but let them let them know when things suck because they do fix things. It's it's a one in a million shot, but they do fix things because they they kind of fix the striped marlin, and I think we scared them into never doing a start a striped marlin again. I hope. Um, but yeah, g give give all of your feedback on that Facebook thing, and if you do Facebook, I do have a Facebook thing. I have just facebookcom slash SirTapTap is my Facebook page. Um, if you want updates on the game and my guides and my videos and all of that crap, that's on there too. And finally, my guide. I have a written guide where it has absolutely anything that you could ask. It's all in there. Um, just just surtaptap.com slash abyssrium or there'll be a link in the description as always. Um, like a lot of people ask questions on like random videos and like they're, 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 it's all in there, trust me. You can find what you need. I, I spend a lot of time on that guide, and it. Uh, a lot of people say it's very, very useful, so... It's pretty much the Bible for playing Abyssrium since the game... Playing the game on the information inside the game itself is kind of a disaster. <laughs> include Bone Whale. You know. Sometimes you just need to include the Bone Whale. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, Happy, happy Halloween, everybody, and, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and once again, the patron, I'll have the patron link in the, at the end of the video and at the, uh, in the description, so. If you want to help out with that, that would be very much, even just a buck a month helps a lot. So, thanks for watching, as always, and, uh, happy spooks. I hope you didn't get scared to death by the spooky ghosts. I'm sorry. I should have had spooky ghost warning. I guess I kind of did, didn't I? So ne never mind. It was it was your own fault. If you died of fright from this video, I'm sorry. You can't legally sue me. Uh, there was a warning. You were warned by the, the spooky skeleton.